Good day, everyone. I am Trixie Esmerinez, 18 years old, a first-year student of University of Cebu main campus, taking up Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, and welcome to my vlog. As we all know, there are 12 different patterns in nature. The symmetry, the spirals, meanders, waves, foams, tessellations, fractures, cracks, stripes, spots, the fractals, and the affine transformation. And for today's video, I will be showing you guys each examples of the 12 different patterns in nature. And those examples can be found in my home. The first one is the symmetry. It means that one shape becomes exactly like another when you move it in some way. Flip, turn, or slide. For two objects to be symmetrical, they must be in the same size and shape. This plant is a symmetry. This leaf of this plant is an example of reflective symmetry. As you can see, this part of this leaf is a reflection to this part. This has the same shape and this has the same size. So I can really conclude that this leaf is a reflective symmetry. Another component of symmetry is the radial symmetry. It is when one object is rotated in a certain direction around a point. An example of radial symmetry is my mini electric fan. As you can see, this mini electric fan has a certain point. So this is the certain point, and this area is the one which rotates the certain point. So this object is the radial symmetry. The second one is the spiral. A spiral is a curve which emanates from a point, moving farther away as it revolves around the point. So this is the point of this spiral and the other part of this spiral revolves round and round and round. The third one is the meanders. The term meander is one which refers to the winding curve or bend in a river. Meanders gradients are usually more gentle and they experience lateral or sideways erosions which widen the channel. An example of meander that can be found in my home is the cell phone charger. As you can see, the cell phone charger is very gentle and very flexible. It can be formed like a curve and it can be bent also. The fourth one is a wave. A wave is a physical phenomenon characterized by its wavelength, frequency, and amplitude. An example of waves is sound waves. Did you hear that? This speaker produces sound waves. Waves can't be seen by our naked eye, but sound waves can be heard. The fifth one is a foam. A foam is a substance made by trapping air or gas bubbles inside solid or liquid. An example of a foam is a soap bubbles. I mix the powdered soap with the water, that's why there are bubbles. The sixth one is the tessellation. A tessellation is a tiling that uses shapes to cover surface with no gaps or overlaps. An example of tessellation is this puzzle. This puzzle is square shaped and it has no gaps or overlaps and it matches with each other. The seventh one is a fracture. A fracture occurs when the applied stress is sufficient enough to break the atomic of the solid. An example of fracture is this fracture in our kitchen wall. The earthquake is the stress being applied which causes the breaking of the wall. The eighth one is the cracks. A crack is a line on the surface of something along which it has splits with breaking into separate parts. An example of a crack is a crack on this wood. There are cracks in this wood because this wood has lost its nutrients from the time it was cut off from the tree. And also because this wood is getting drier and drier as time passes by. The ninth one is the stripes. The stripes are made by series of bands or strips. 
often of the same width and color along the length. An example of stripes is the design of this clothing. As you can see, this clothing has two colors, the red and the white. And this clothing has vertical lines and diagonal lines. So these vertical lines and diagonal lines are the stripes because the stripes can be in vertical, in horizontal, or even in diagonal. The tenth one is the spots. A spot is a small round or roundish mark, differing in color or texture from the surface around it. An example of spots is the design of this purse. As you can see, this purse has lots of round marks, and these black round marks are the spots. The eleventh one is the fractals. A fractal is a never-ending pattern. Fractals are infinitely complex patterns that are self-similar across different scales. They are created by repeating a simple process over and over in an ongoing feedback loop. An example of a fractal is these plants. As you can see, these plants has a repeating and complex patterns that are self-similar. From the main stem up until the end, it has the same yet complex patterns. And the last one is the affine transformations. The affine transformation is a linear mapping method that preserves points, straight lines, and planes. The process involved in affine transformations are rotations, reflections, and scaling. An example of a fine transformation is the snake plant or Sansevieria trifasciata. The snake plant can be found in our garden. The snake plant has points and lines. It grows rotationally and its leaves were reflections with each other. So, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and God bless. Have a nice day.